So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, in this example, basically what we're going to do is, again, when I'm doing these problems, I like to do them one step at a time, all right, or one property at a time. And I gave you guys three properties last class period. So the first thing is I can see that I have these values in front of my logarithm. I can rewrite these as the powers, correct? So I can rewrite this as log of 3x raised to the 1 3rd plus log 3x raised to the 2 thirds. Does everybody agree with me? OK. Now, I did show you guys how to rewrite them as radicals. But in this case, I actually don't really care to write them as radicals because what I notice is if I know that I have the addition of two logarithms, that means um, I need to add my powers. And can I quickly and easily add 1 third plus 2 thirds? Yeah. Right, and that's just going to be 3 thirds, which is 1. So therefore, I basically, when you multiply, remember, x to the m times x to the n equals x to the m plus n, right? So therefore, I basically have to the 3x to the 1 third plus 2 thirds. Well, 1 third plus 2 thirds is 3 thirds, which is 1. So my final answer is log of 3x. Done. Fine.